Hello ladies, this is take three from Penny. Um, not doing very well with my filming today. I'm missing my Adam, I think. Uh, I want to share this project with you because I've had this plaque in my project uh, my project box for quite a while since I bought something from Fiona, one of the kits. And I wasn't sure which road I was going down with it. And it's got, I've got an anniversary coming up with some friends, so so I thought it would now be a nice time to use it. I've always liked the nice combination of shells and pearls together. Uh, they used to do that a lot in Victorian times, I think, didn't they? And my friend really likes the peach and she likes the beach and things, so it all went together nice. Uh, as I say, I got the plaque, I think, from Fiona. And I covered it in some nice paper there. And that's from the Country Escape Tilda. Yeah, there's some lovely papers in there. If you like your pinks and your blues, etc. There's some nice ones. And I did ruffle up the edge a bit and then I stained it with some uh, distress stain. Uh, you know, the Tim Holtz distress stain around the edges. To shabby it up a little bit. So once I'd picked on my colours I wanted and the shells I wanted, I started here and went down and I started off by putting the big ribbon roses where I wanted them and behind that I put some tea, tea stain uh, appliques here. This ribbon does very well in it. It comes on a roll like this white and then a tea dye it and it always comes up nice and of course you've got two layers to play with there and plus cut out individual leaves if you wanted to so it's one of my favorites that so i put a piece behind here and as well as just two little green leaves these little ones i've I found when we were on holiday from a car boot i think we'd been to there and <clears throat> excuse me and the shells come from, well these shells, they come from eBay, I sent away for them. These were already in my stash, they're from a necklace, uh, like this. Lots and lots of beads on there. These bits of shells, which are nice fillers, they've also come off a necklace. And they had a few little colours in that one. And I think it's the only ones I've used. Oh, and a couple of these I've used. A uh, tiny, tiny little, I don't know what kind of shell them are, what do you call them? But they're very small anyway, but nice little shells then. So I used them and went around and then as I was getting to the O, it looked a bit bleak inside the, the, the letters. So I tea dyed some tiny trim which has got little roses on it was white and uh, no i think actually it was pale pink it was pale pink to start off with anyway i've tea dyed it and put it in the in the letters i had to be careful there because you're going to put a picture behind it so i had to be careful how i put it round there yep but it's, i've tried it and it all fits in so it'd be nice when there's a picture in it of uh, presumably them, themselves, maybe on their wedding day or something. There we go. It'll look nice. And at, uh, the couple of roses I've done, a couple I've left white, but some I've just put spectrum on them. Um, you know, your, your spectrum pens. And I've put a bit of that on it. And also on the shelves, because all the shelves came white. So I, just a few of them. I put on that bit of peachy look to them. So I went round and round, found one little heart from an old piece of trim I had. So that went on. Filled up the gaps with my little shells and pearls. And where'd we go? I found this, but this is nice. This reminded me of a starfish. So I thought he went nice to the shells as well. Um, I just finished off there at the top, tried not to do too much at the top but it is quite full 
um, more stain depletes there and a little flower centre, pearl and diamante flower centre in it. it catches the light nice and the cherub a little wooden cherub I've got and that Fernley Designs I think it was sent me that or it could have been Fiona and um, I embossed it with some pale blue and then put some stickers on it I also put stickers as you can see if I move it slightly yeah I put bits of stickers on the shells as well I tried not to go overboard but you know what we're like when we get stickers in our hands. But I don't think I've put any on the flowers anyway. Um, that's a bit of glossy accent for dewdrops like on the leaves there. Uh, so, and just inside here I put a little heart. And that came on a string with a little hole in it. So I filled it in with um, modelling paste. And then I painted this, I think, blue. And, and then put glossy accent on stickles on it yeah stickles on that one as well so yeah it's been a fun little project i've really enjoyed it um i wonder whether any other ladies like that combination and if they've if they've tried it you know the the uh shells and pearls etc together i'd like to see some more of them i've got um a handheld mirror like an old-fashioned handheld mirror that were on the dressing table and I'd like to try that next I think with this this type of thing so thank you very much ladies for watching with me and I appreciate your comments and I do appreciate you watching so I say bye bye for now thank you